The weight of the way of yesterday, making the tense that finds a left hook there, his best punch so far. Alan Arji does have hand speed. He's not the kind to go dancing all over the ring. Alan Arji's jab is landing already. Look, he's coming forward as we would have expected. Alan Arji's jab is quick. That's where Hat needs the head movement to slip it. More comfortable of the two. I think Malinaji is a little bit shocked by the pace, the early pace here. A little bit of a nick under the left eye. Good right hand! Malinaji's right hurt! Hand. And Malinaji has to hold on. Big breakthrough for Hatton there. His legs have gone. Malinaji's holding on for dear life, but the legs were splayed. And that was the moment Hatton was looking for. And he finds another left and another one on the inside. And the right hand of Malinaji is in trouble here now. Terrific stuff from Hatton, it's just what he was looking for. And now he knows that he can daze Paulie Malinaji. No, almost disaster for Malinaji. He was badly shaken and his head hasn't cleared yet. Like he's not in any hurry to follow up, but what a statement he made there. But Ricky is looking good physically, even in the the, the, the first round when, when his timing wasn't right, walking onto punches, but he's still looking confident and strong and powerful. The soundtrack from the 4,000 British fans making it an incredible atmosphere here at the MGM. This is the scene of the crime, of course. The And a little right from Malinaji as they worked inside, he's looking for the uppercut. But Hatton won't mind this, this close quarter brawling, this is his kind of game. But Malinaji's going up close there for safety, not, it's, it's, it's not offensive. A oh, good shot again from Hatton. And that tipped his knees a bit as well, Jim. moved his head in training still not quite the timing you'd want from Hatton an, an absence of the body punches that used to be his trademark well Malinaji is difficult to pin down at the best of times but when he goes on on the defensive on into survival mode he's almost impossible to catch with clean shots so Ricky just has to keep getting the job done just stay on him it's going to be untidy but that's down to Malinaji good flip round the ear there from Hatton you see, Hatton's imposing his style on Malinaji. That's a key here, strategically. And Malinaji's not really just doing anything in the fight at the moment, other than existing in it. And Hatton's putting the rounds away. Because he's not making mistakes, he's not doing anything silly. So nothing that Malinaji can feed off. And he's coming through the jab when it does land. That's adding to Malinaji's problems. Malinaji just looks like a, a young man who's been bullied out of this. As you said, it's not pretty, but it's effective. And he is being outboxed as well here. Hatton always said he was underrated as a boxer. Sometimes no, 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 we didn't no, no, really no. believe him, but a couple of times in his career, he has boxed well, notably against Ray Oliveira and Ben Taki earlier on in his career. But he's been very much the brawler recently. But this is really clean punching in this round from Hatton. He's dominating it. See, Malinaji cannot discourage him when Mal For dear life. Left hook, oh, beautiful two, one. two left hooks. The second one was better than the first one. Landed flush, Malinaji took it. Jab two. And he's being beaten everywhere at the moment. Paulie Malinaji outside, inside, wherever Hatton likes. Malinaji has been broken up here. He's seeing the jabs coming, the hooks coming, but he can't get away from them. I think Ricky is knocking the fight out of him. It's not impossible to believe that Hatton might stop him if it carries on like this. Well, Malinaji is not a happy man, so if you can break the heart first, then the stoppage comes so much easier.
Alan Aji's 28th birthday tomorrow as well. You know the present he wanted, but it doesn't look like arriving at the moment for him. Baby stuff tonight, it's Alan Aji. So uh, Hatton will be pleased when referee Bayless breaks them up. Oh, lovely punch. Remember Malin Aji's only lost once in his career, and that's to the outstanding big Al Cotto. He was just a novice pro then. He did last the distance, so he's never been stopped in his career. Can Hatton do that? He's looking more and more discouraged, Malin Aji, with every round that passes. I think he learned pretty early his lack of strength and power was going to be a massive problem and it's just getting worse. But what he needed, given that lack of power, was a sweet boxing display. He hasn't been able to produce that. Again, clinging for dear life up close. Nothing he's done could impress a judge to give him anything but... Schooley just doesn't know what to do here. He's never been in a situation like this. And I bet he doesn't want to be again. Lovely jab. See, he's not elusive enough for a fellow with his style. There's no head movement from Malinaji. Where are the reflexes that go with that style, Jim? Not well since he moved into world championship level. His performances have been poor. Now we can see why he's just that little bit short at the top level, but not saying that to take away anything from Ricky Hans performance, this is superb. He looked a bit distraught there, I thought Malinaji sagged a bit. Doesn't want to be there now Ian, doesn't want to be there, he wants to hear that final bell, hope pride will make him try to get there, he wants, uh, he wants this over. I'll tell you what's most discouraging of all for him. But now he's doing it at the very top level. And the main thing too, the fans are still loving it. Nobody complaining about it. It's a decent looking crowd despite the fears as well. Build up late here in the MGM Grand. It's going as well for Hatton tonight as it went badly the last time he was here against the outstanding Floyd Mayweather. and the strength in Ricky's work, and he's never gotten over that. I think he's known all the way through this is a survival job. Done it well so far, but well beaten. Look, I'm grabbing hold of the legs. I mean, this is point deduction stuff. He's more or less in survival mode. I think the writing has been on the wall for a long time and happens digging in those old left hooks to the body this time I think he wants that stop they're going to call it oh, the fight's over That's Ricky Hatton it's Ricky's revival night he stopped Malinaji who's pulled out of the contest by his own corner he's furious about that but they said that's enough it was very one-sided and Hatton silenced his doubters silenced his critics tonight and showed that he still has it as a top-line operator, as a light welterweight. Buddy McGirt there is the man who said, enough is enough. No, Buddy McGirt warned them, you're not throwing punches. If you don't throw punches, I'm not going to see you get on here. Malinaji is furious, he has his fighters pride, he will not like this. But uh, he can go out in his shield because he didn't, he didn't quit. I mean, he just, every time they were up close, he was clinging on for dear life. I'm amazed the referee didn't deduct points. But there you can see the, the, the towel coming in here. Good decision. You think that was a good decision? Well, because Malina hang on, Jim. Malinaji is furious. It's a world championship fight. Yeah. Was he in a state where he had to be stopped? Or did well, Buddy McGirt do that out of disgust for his performance? Well, I don't know if it was out of disgust. They didn't see the point and let them continue. It wasn't being tuned up. There was no fear he was going to be permanently damaged. So probably they could have let him go on with it. I mean, he wasn't having his head rolled around or anything. But look at the delight there.